got strength to fight for my change. I've got power to talk in His name. I've got faith to move mountains. Everything I need, I know it's inside of me. It's in me. Oh, oh, oh. It's in me. I've got the power in me. of the Holy it's Ghost in me. It's inside. It's in me. So I would give me a talk about God has something after this. Can we say that out loud? Leave me not into temptation. 
patient and, and God's silly stuff is already around me. Please deliver me from evil. Pray that. Oh, I read the scripture. I'm strong. Pray that. Deliver me, God. Because I'm going to I'm, I'm, I'm going to if they just say one more word, I'm going to I take all of them runs. Take all of them. Huh? He said, pray that. Pray it. Meet it in your heart. Deliver me, God. Deliver me. Lead me now. Help me avoid that. It's not crowded. Stay in the pathway of righteousness. Stay out of the council of the ungodly. I said, gentlemen about your age, I don't 
he wants is just one child and one by one. They said, no, no, no. I said, son, the scripture said, he that find the Lord. I found one, and you don't have to go through your own. That's why the lesson is you. On your own. And one of them saw him after. They didn't know who it was. They saw him after. And they said, Oh Lord, you didn't tell me that was who. But it was too late then. Thank you, Jesus. You know, he said, I, I ain't looking for no more. I just, I just want to be left. Oh. Praise the Lord. But now this, this Ruth that's stuck with. Truth to me, don't, don't tell them. But sometimes there are folks that have found their way into your heart. You, you didn't want them to be there, but they there now. And you, now, now you thank God they there. You don't want them to leave, but you shouldn't be looking for nobody else. But, but they there. She was in Naomi's heart now. And now Naomi began mothering all over again. When I do celebrate for Mother's Day, some of you that may have never sired a child, but God has blessed you to take one of those younger women in like the book of Titus recommends. Amen. Maybe we ought to turn to that Titus, the second chapter. Uh, uh, give me that one more for those that turn slow. Just so nice and make a Bible didn't match the color they were going <laughs> Titus the second chapter. And just look at that, that third verse. Can you can we put that up there for me? Uh, they're going to show you the new King James Version. I'm going to read that the old version. Uh, if, if I was writing this in 2012, I might say that the more mature way. Um, but Paul was so kind when he was writing his son, it was just the two of them. Titus, the second chapter. So he said in that third verse, the age women. I said the more mature. But the, but the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. Act holy. Dress holy. When the scripture says modest apparel, it does not show a hairstyle. Oh, I know. You want to loop it and group it and add to it. Color it, gray and white may not go with your complexion, I understand. Don't go crazy, all right? You're not five, you're 45. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. Well, you have to leave, honey. Yeah, that's my child, we got. Stop. 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 You're, you're, you're not 30, you're 50. I, I 
you you do this. I know what they do. Don't you get caught up in the work. They do. You get caught up in their style and their manner of life. And, and you won't get nowhere like that. I still want to use you. I still want you, you to do some mothering. Uh, you, you think it's over because of the pain you suffered. You think you've outlived your usefulness. But I want you to mother the heritage that our Lord shall come. mistakes. I know there have been errors. I know your life hasn't been perfect. I know your life was filled with pain. I know you suffered catastrophe. I know you passed your prime. But I still want to use you. Now this just ain't a female thing. Come on, brother. Talk to me. Stuff can happen to us. One young man said, he said, I want a marriage just like yours. I said, you can't have one because there's only one and I'm married to her. <laughs> Don't even look over the fence. <laughs> if the grass is green over here, just, just go for the best you can find. Anyway. <laughs> then he didn't like it too much when I said, your marriage might have something to do with the kind of man you become. But we're not dealing with that. That's verse 6. I'm getting in trouble now. Teach them to love their husbands. Don't ask why can't you do it like him. Love your own. Quit loving her husband. When he fixes her car, well, it will blow up if I try to fix it, okay? Yeah. You take it to my or, or the brother Stokes or somebody else that know how to heal the sick and raise the shepherd. But, 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 but that ain't me. Love your own husband. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't good for nothing but doing the laundry. Thank God you doing the laundry. Yeah. I'm still trying to learn, but I am trying to. I done learned I can carry the laundry down to the laundry head. Hallelujah! You have to throw the laundry bag or landing down and walk down until I get the thing goes up. That's all I have to do. But love your own husband. Love your own wife. Don't you see how she looked? Yeah, but she ain't had five of the babies. You had one teacher. You had 
a grandmother, a godly grandmother that taught you godly ways, teach them how to teach. So I, I went to Titus's notebook and I read what to teach. Teach them to love their husbands. Teach them to love their children. Don't just let the children hear you say, what's wrong with that boy? I don't know either. Learn to love your child. Love your child. Yes, Lord. Your child is a knucklehead. Be careful. He might take after you. Um, so the next verse said, teach him to be discreet. You can tell the truth without putting it on the edge of a dagger. Are you going to wear that outside? She doesn't care what you She just develops a quiz contest. You're going to wear that shirt with them pants? Oh no, I was just putting it on to see if it still fits. Things that nobody would know has 
suffer just like you. You're laden with some burdens right now that are almost too heavy to bear. Sometimes the thought that filled your life in the past won't be shaken at all. I had to talk to somebody this week who, who claimed that they made some serious mistakes in their past. I said, I want you to remember two things. When you go to God and repent, He has a sea of forgetfulness. Right? There are people that know God, but I'm going to tell you a secret about them. Only God has a sea of forgetfulness. People remember your shortcomings. Your shortcomings of the past may restrict what you can do for some people in the future. But your future is not restricted by your past. You may not accept what God does in me, but that doesn't mean God can't make something out of you. That's greater than you can. If you don't, if you don't accept me, I'm going to pray God's strength to love you anyhow. But I've got a God to glorify and a God to answer to. I'm praying that I don't repeat the faults and the mistakes of my past. Let me tell you all a secret. All of, all of us that have lost a mom, find a mother in some of these wives. More mature saints around here. Let them confide in you in spite of their hurt, in spite of their pain. Grab a mother of fear and have to bury one of hers. But God has called us to survive it. Grab a mother named Duncan. Grab one of these mothers that have had to bury their Grab one of these widow women and have lost the love of their life. Grab one of these more mature men and had to be a mother and a father. Grab some of these women. He denied that was his, but the nose and the eyes and the manner of the child said, yes, I am yours. You had to raise up by yourself. Grab some of these that are mature in Christ, that will walk out on. Let God bless you to have them mother you. Like, like Naomi did Ruth. And God used her to nurture Ruth and instruct her. I wanted to go to that fifth verse of the third chapter. When the text said, and Ruth said to Naomi, I will do what you say. And it wasn't what she wanted to do, but it was what wisdom spoke in the time. Who did she become? She became the wife of Boaz, who became the father of Obed, who became the father of Jesse, who became the father of a young man whose name is in the Bible more than anybody's name in the Bible. David, out of the lineage of who our God was born unto the name. Ruth had such a teacher, a teacher who was ready to give up on life and become a recluse in a familiar territory and thought her life was over, but God was able to use her to touch generations after her. What does God have in your tomorrow? Oh, come on, Bishop. I know you feel like you can give up now. I know you feel like if I could just live out these days and survive the hurts that have already come, 
But I want to tell you, roll up your sleeve, hey, wash your face and hands, get yourself up, yes, go after God like you've never gone after Him before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I wish I had my notes because because I could read it word for word. Isaiah 43, 18, it was so impressionable to me. I told the young man that was emceeing my wedding reception when I married the girl, I, I didn't want no old girls cropping up. I didn't want no old friends looking this way. So I said, please read the scripture that say, remember not the former things. <laughs> Neither consider the things of old. Lord, Kathleen Six is too rich to miss. Come on, y'all. Y'all don't just allow me one more scripture. It's this day, and I'm, 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 I'm going to hurry right after this. But Isaiah 43, 18, remember ye not the former things, we can consider the things of old. God says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. I will even make a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert. In other words, you're getting ready to see the impossible done in your life. You're getting ready to see the improbable performed in your life. God is a God of the bank say no. I know it seems like you're all alone, but God is able to bring a miracle out of that. prayer just a few weeks ago. I never said it publicly before. He said for telling young folks that think they got such a hard childhood and the teen years are getting in front of them. Tell the teenagers teen years can be some rough years. You growing, your mom don't understand you, your friends don't, you don't understand at the teens. But God said hang in there. The twenties are yet before you. You that are in your late twenties and what you expected to happen by now has not taken place. Don't give up hope. Get ready for the things. You that have made it to the to the early forties and you're saying, "Is this what life's gonna be like?" Uh-uh. Fifties get in front of you. God just getting you ready for the next phase of life. You don't know that can be the greatest years are still ahead of you. You've cried, you've suffered. It seems like you're by yourself, but honey, hold on to your God. Sixteen. Uh, now it seems like my knees make more noise than my mouth when I get up out of the chair. I hear stuff popping and cracking and I ain't even said nothing yet. That's all right. Sixteen, look forward to seven. Can somebody tell yourself out loud, God has something after